Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we, at the time, were running before the release of the new DLC, well, new for console, DLC Federations. Now it's been released, and we're going to update the game to that. Uh... So, we're going to have a bit of fun getting used to this new thing. New thing. I can talk, really, I can. Now, with that said, uh, there is not much of the new stuff that we can discover, but there will be other things that will be a little more uh, easy to join so there's that um i don't know where i'm going with this i'm just saying that there's new stuff that'll show up maybe uh while we're playing at least some of it and the rest of it will show up later so we're gonna go ahead and start now yes that is one of the things the healthcare campaign edict was invalidated since it no longer fulfills the required conditions because it's no longer a thing, period. Um, at least that I'm aware. Healthcare campaign is just not an edict anymore. Now there are other edicts, as you can see. <laughs> the edicts policies has changed significantly in the way that these campaigns here still last for a few years. But edicts last until I cancel them. I can have up to two edicts. Any edicts over that starts to affect the Empire Sprawl. Which, you know, <laughs> is something to avoid if you want to get things done quickly. So, that is a drastic change. Um, also, another thing, unfortunately, is that unless I have the Xeno compatibility turned on, it will no longer pop up. Um, I have to have the Xeno compatibility perk turned on when I start the game. Otherwise, it won't show up. It's unfortunate. I would have preferred to have it there as an option for an Ascension perk regardless. But hey, that means that if you want it there, you can. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it there. But it also means that we no longer have that ability available to us. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, everything else is pretty much the same uh, on traditions, as far as I'm aware. So we don't have to go too deep into that. Fleets think are the same. Also, I forgot to rename this fleet the entire time. I'm so silly. So, give me a second and I will fix that. It's pretty easy because it's just going to follow the naming convention of the other one. So, just need to pop all the letters required in. And then we're done. Cool. Awesome. Now that that's done, um, oh yeah, another thing, another thing. Um, one of the things that was unlocked is technology, the target uplink computer, now automatically turned on. You can automatically get those attached to your stations, which is great. Um, I mean, especially if you're trying to build it as a defensive platform. It's very great. Um, for Nusakan, I forget. Um, where was Nusakan? Buckery, I forget. Uh, Nusakan, Nusakan, Nusakan. Oh, it was right here. Okay. Yeah, it was right here. And I guess it doesn't really need to be focused on as a defensive platform all that much. 
but might as well throw a hangar bay on there. Just to, you know, defend the def uh, general position of uh, the trade areas right up there. Might as well do that. So, yeah, that'd be good. Uh, other than that, what do I want to do? Not that. Um, Fleet Academy? That'd be good. That'd be helpful. Uh, yeah, we could build that on there. Especially since this will be doing the majority of our shipbuilding. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay, other than that, is there any other star bases? These varieties that I needed to mess with? I did need to do Bade, apparently. Oh, yeah, it was fairly newly built. No wonder. Okay, there's that and that. And then there's... Hmm. Off-world trading company. Oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> don't have enough of those for that. I see. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, I'll... Whoops. Just turn that off, and we're good. Okay. And all the other ships are working on what I want them to. I think, anyway. Brinkman is working on assisting research with Marath. Okay, cool. Alright, well, we continue onward. Oh, and some of the images change, too. Open Borders actually has a picture with it that you can understand it means the borders. So the Quell Nudar archivists have now opened their borders towards us. We no longer see any reason to keep you locked out of our territory. Our borders are open to you again. Awesome. And they're also patronizing. Ugh. Didn't realize it'd be patronizing towards me, but I don't think I have a choice in that regard. Inbound message oh. traffic. Okay, everyone's opening their borders to us. The Polysimus Syndicate and the Rex Codium Progenitors. Oh, nice. Wait, why Why were their borders close to us? That's weird. Okay. The Spuxlax Star Nation offers a migration treaty. I say no. I already have enough of those floating around. Um that uh, how is my income with that huh not good it's not as good as i would hope so we'll not do that that requires crystals which i don't have a lot of i have a lot of those i'll do this for sure but just don't have enough for that yet uh i'll work on that though definitely will work on it Speaking of, in fact, I could start building something to make more. Is that, that was right there. <laughs> Silly me. What? I didn't see that. That was annoying. I accidentally exited out of it because I didn't know it would happen. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. I don't even know who it was. Damn it. I wish I knew. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to back up and see who it is, isn't it? Alright. This save scumming is not really save scumming. Okay? It's because a lot of things happened at once. And I couldn't get all of them <laughs> taken care of. Okay? Okay? So, I'll be going back real quick. Just a second. Okay. Well, I worked through all of that. And it's time to start the clock again. Whoops, that was not what I meant. I meant to make it faster. I just held on the button wrong, I guess. Uh, we'll get all of this reset again. Uh, get that going for sure. And then have the synthetic crystal plants right there. Good. Okay, it was from the Numistic Order. When credits pass hands, Numa smiles. Alright, show us your wares. 
the sound of coin trinkling in. Trinkling? Trickling? Eh, close enough. Yes, Phelans, we see great fortune coming your way. Oh, enables the construction of a new mystic shrine. Bringing good fortune to a world of your choice. Just costs 4,000 credits. And now I need to sneeze. And the sneeze is done. All right. At least I'm allergic to pseudo-religious bullshit. Anyway. <laughs> it's late enough in the episode, I can swear. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Reggie's still gonna give me shit in editing, though. Anyway. Ah. Uh. Numa has shown us a vision of a shrine in her honor on one of your worlds. A shrine that could bring you prosperity beyond your wildest dreams. As always, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. Alrighty. It's 4,000 fucking credits, but... Alright, sure. Let's go. I can just build it where I want to, right? Anywhere, really? The Horizon Signal. An alert communications officer has identified what appears to be a faint signal almost lost in the gamma ray flashes from the black hole here. Faint, but unmistakably artificial. This raises intriguing possibilities for our scientists. Special project, analyze the horizon signal. New sit rep. Okay. Oh boy. Definitely do not have enough crystals for anything yet. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Acropolis. Oh, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have any uh, governor I can assign because this was under... This was under Marath. Huh. Or what? Wait a minute. Claims? No, that's not what I want. Um, cosmo cosmography. Huh. Miklor's Vortex. Oh! I see. And I do have a science ship in the area just passing by. Where's Riodora? Oh, that's a little ways away. The other one is heading towards Marath, so, uh. Cool. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Extended combat algorithms, huh? Good. Now that's taken care of. Um, what should I have you working on? Hyperdrive 3 would be good. Get into hyperspace faster. And with that, I can upgrade all of these ships. And they're going to go to... Nusakan, and then they will go right back to EM after they're done, as far as I'm concerned. Ships refitted. Oh, there's something else. Ban organic slave trade. We should work together to rid the galactic community of foolishness and superstition. Oh, I am more than willing to jump on this boat. Absolutely. To declare your support for this resolution, adding your diplomatic weight to its total support in the queue. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that for sure. Alright. Absolutely. The use of the galactic 
market to trade in sentient organics is abominable. We should ban this practice. Perfect. Perfect. Science division Hoping reports like a new breakthrough. Happen. I love it. All right, that's done. Artificial moral codes. Good. Where should we go? Hmm. Eh, this will be fast enough. We'll go ahead and do this. Whoop a duh. Plesimus Syndicate entered a migration treaty with the Spuxalac. Okay. I've been misspelling the Spuxalac in, <laughs> in my descriptions all these freaking times and thought it was an A when it's a U. Welp. Construction complete. My bad. Okay, the starbase has finished its construction. Good. And the Nusikon is almost done with theirs. Beautiful. I cannot afford to reinforce the fleet right now. That's fair. That's more than fair. Ships refitted. Beautiful. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Ooh. What what we get? Food processing. There it is. And I forgot to read it. Improved food processing techniques will lead to better preservation methods and less spoilage. Which is always great. Uh, less spoilage, the better. Mm. That is very tempting. In fact, too tempting. We'll do it. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, I figured it would be done soon. And now we can make orbital habitats as well. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Let's look into quantum missiles. That's a good idea, I think. Very good idea. Acropolis now can do one. Beautiful. Um, where should I go with it? Not sure. Okay, but uh, what? Oh, that's the new Mystic Shrine. That's what that is. Priests turn consumer goods into unity, society research, and amenities. Merchants just produce trade value and amenities. That's fair. Be a lot of amenities. A lot of amenities. Uh, guess I don't need to do an administrative office yet. But what should I do in its place? Can't do any of those yet. Um... Crime is starting to tick up slightly. Let's put in a precinct house. Yeah, that's a good idea. Especially since none of the other planets have that issue. Might as well make sure that this one doesn't have that issue either. Okay, the Commonwealth of Man has enacted the Military Readiness Act. I was already supporting it. Two were abstaining. All right. Galactic community members that are not vassals of another empire that are using less than half of their naval capacity are in breach of galactic law. And we're using a little bit more than half, so that's good. Okay, cool. That's fair. It's more than fair. Okay. My phone is buzzing quite a bit. I need to see what's up. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Well, it at least shows people care about me. <laughs> they were checking on me after the heat wave because people know me and heat don't mix very well. So uh, at least it was something nice. Anyway, continuing on. Mm. Open borders from the sacros sacrosanct can't talk. My nose is slightly stuffed up. That's probably why. Thamoid Conclave. You no longer see any reason to keep you locked out of our territory. 
cool. Didn't really want to go into your territory in the first place, so meh. Construction really. complete. Well, look Special at that. Project complete. Huh. Science officer Muhammad Kadem reports that the signal was unexpectedly easy to decipher, but their team has spent considerable time confirming that it's not a hoax. It is a repeating, half-coherent message in the feline language, something like a poem. It repeats the phrases gravity is desire and time is sight, and codes coordinates near the black hole, and it ends with a dedication by name to the science officer who adds dispassionately that they have confirmed that the signal has been radiating into interstellar space since before their birth. In fact, the signal may predate our civilization. The worm in waiting. This is a trick, or a trap. Log it and move on. The message ends. Muhammad Kadem complies with a mixture of reluctance and relief. Their psych report later indicates that they are subject to recurring nightmares of an impossible labyrinth, of the hungry vertigo of interstellar space, of their name called in the dark. Within a home world a year, the message has ceased. We have escaped something. Too bad that Muhammad gets the substance abuse or trait because of it. Yeesh. And that means he isn't going to last much longer either. You already had Resilient, which increases his lifespan by 25 years, but that substance abuser knocks 20 years off of that, so. Not going to survive much longer. Jeez. That was scary. And I'm going to tell you all why. Um, truth is, I kind of know what that's all about. And the truth is, is that one in particular... will completely and utterly change not only the face of your species, but also everything you've built up about your species. That whole, the whole thing completely changes what your species is about to the point that you would never recognize them anymore. They completely and utterly change. And I didn't want to go through that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe the next time we do something like this, if it pops up. But it is not worth the time and effort put into it, I think. But yeah, anyway, moving on. It's always by one of those two, so I was surprised that it was by one that had an L gate, but it's always within... A black hole area. One of those things happen. And it reminds me that this one needs to be waiting by a star <laughs> base at least. Alright. The Spuxalag. Oh. The Ketling Star Pack has ended the rivalry with the Commonwealth of Man. Cool. Well, at least for them. 
I find it interesting that the Spuxalak are doing just fine in the war against the Commonwealth of Man. Presumably all on their own. Yeah, that's Spuxalak fleet there. That's a Spuxalak fleet there. Yeah, they're just handling it on their own. Near as I can tell. They're handling it with their own fleet, and as far as I'm concerned, they can keep it that way. I sure as hell ain't doing anything. Alright. Tianki Matriarch. I'm gonna check something real quick. Curator Order. Perhaps you are wondering about the significance of the shapes you see on the mural behind me. That is a good question with a very interesting answer. The fee for this information is 15 quadrillion <laughs> energy credits. Okay, fine. Keep... Alright, fine. Keep your secrets. Alright. Tell us about the mysteries of the universe. There are exceedingly powerful entities lurking within certain star systems in our galaxy. At great cost in both lives and resources, curator agents have painstakingly gathered knowledge that should make these beings easier to deal with the next time you encounter them. How about the Tianki Matriarch? What about them? Magnificent, is she not? A wizened old matriarch, her hide bleached and hardened by the eons, her tentacles capable of snapping the hulls of battleships like oyster shells. Decades ago, our researchers heard rumors of a captain sworn to hunt the matriarch to the ends of the galaxy. However, considering her continued existence, we cannot imagine he met with success. I'm assuming this is about Moby Dick. That's the reference. Eh. Why is the matriarch so much larger than other Tianki? Her incredible size is an anomaly, to be sure. We believe the matriarch is a wanderer from another galaxy in deep space, where a species of Tianki far greater in size and strength diverged the evolutionary diverged evolutionarily that's a mouthful from the Tianki found in our own of course it is also possible the matriarch is simply suffering from an advanced form of gigantism though this would fail to explain her extended lifespan true what do you know about the captain hunting the matriarch very little it is quite possible the captain chased the matriarch here from another galaxy Though why one would be foolish enough to challenge a creature capable of destroying entire fleets with just one vessel is beyond us. Yep, that's Moby Dick. That's a Moby Dick reference right there. How would our current fleet fare against it? Hmm. Yes, yes, I suppose you might actually stand a chance. If you combined, if you combined, combined your entire fleet... It would not be an easy victory, mind you, but one that is at least within the realm of possibility. Interesting. Is there anything more you could tell me about that? Because I kind of... That kind of ends the conversation. Uh, tell us how to defeat it. Oh, it just costs a thousand credits. Matrio matricidal. Okay. That's, that's the phrase. Matricidal Insight modifier added, giving the following effects. Damage to the Tianki Matriarch, plus 25%, and it increases the Curator's opinion of us. I'm okay with that. The Matriarch is formidable, but not indestructible. While her armored hide project... I can talk, really. Honestly, I can. I just fail to in this particular instance. Why it's today? I have no idea. While her armored hide protects her from a wide range of projectiles, she carries with her a remarkable weakness. There is a massive proton torpedo lodged in her back, a wound from a recent battle that has healed poorly. While seemingly defective, our scans of the torpedo suggest it can still be detonated if agitated with a specific energy pulse. We will transmit the details to you now. I'll take it. 
also, I realize now, uh, can you aid us in our research? I am making enough credits that this is more viable than it used to be. And it would increase our research speed by 10%. I don't see why not. All right. We are prepared to offer you limited access to our extensive data banks for a period of 10 standard years. This should provide a significant boost to the research efforts of your planet side research labs. We will require compensation for the service, naturally, but I think you'll find that our prices are very reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. A wise choice that future generations of Phalans will no doubt laud you for. I'm sure they will. That said, I also need to sell that real quick. Because I make more minerals than I can ever offload. Alright, and with that, I'm going to check Science out Science Division planets. reports a new good. breakthrough. Oh, do ya? Hyperspace Slipstreams is now completed. Beautiful. Alright, which means the next thing I should work on, self-aware colony ships. Increases the development speed by 50%. That'd be good. Sufficiently advanced systems are capable of optimizing themselves if they are made acutely aware of the purpose for which they were made. Hmm. Alrighty then. And now my throat is acting up. There we go. A little better. And okay. That definitely helped boost quite a bit all of our research. Alright. Let's get them updated. Get them updated. Perfect. Oh, there's another th new thing in the Galactic Community. Form the Galactic Council. The United Nations of Earth. Well, they would be definitely a front-runner for the Council. The Galactic Community should have a Council of Leaders to help keep order. This is basically Mass Effect. This is basically what this is doing. A Galactic Council of three members. It's Mass Effect. I don't see why not. Let's do it. I don't have enough diplomatic weight to even be a part of it. Unfortunately. It's kind of how it is. <sighs> I'm way too down on the pecking order. It is what it is. Uh, I'll sell some of that too. Oh, I didn't realize I was not making enough food. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, I have enough farmers. Camelot won't really... Yeah, might as well go for more farmers here. Might as well. Okay. Uh oh. Mastery of nature, huh? Yeah, I might as well go for that. There we go. Envoy Prathamesh Chauta has died at the age of 118. And then they get replaced. By Huan Lu, representing our interest in the federal sovereign nations. Interesting. Interesting that it is now done. I am still president, so far. You're at level three. Yeah, we are not Science getting division reports a lot of XP here. It's really not working out, unfortunately. <sighs> All right. The cohesion is hmm. I would need to I would need to throw in another envoy to make that work. The diverse ethics and opposing ethics don't help. Ah. Add envoys to boost monthly cohesion. 
What are my other envoys doing? The Spuxalak and the Ketlings. Hmm. How is our relationship with those two? The Spuxalak, since we're now in a federation, shouldn't be too much of an issue, actually. I'm correct. It won't be that much of an issue at all if I just break this off for right now. The Ketlings, I think, will probably be fine. If I break that off as well. Okay. Um, Dan Danielle Ravelli, I'll definitely put her towards... Yeah. There we go. And that brings us up to a plus 80 instead. That's even, that's even Ships better. Ships refitted. Yep. Missed that. We finished the research on the quantum missiles. The latest version of Space to Space Missile, this upgraded variant, has an immensely powerful warhead that draws its energy from a zero-point vacuum. Jesus. All right, in that case... Where should we go with next? Um, that'd be good. But might as well get plasma thrusters thrown uh, thrown in. Especially since it's probably going to be the cheapest thing here. Oh wait, deep core mining. Uh, do I really need that? I don't think I need it, but it'd be nice. Huh. Didn't expect my body to make that noise. I apologize. Oh boy. All right, let's go with the plasma thruster. An advanced form of electric propulsion, plasma thrusters afford ships greater sublight speeds and maneuverability. Let's do it. And let's get these campaigns running again. Huh? Pop and pop, good. Huh. Nutritional plentitude. Lasts until canceled. Fortify the border. Don't need this. This would be nice. Ship starting experience, ship build speed, added diplomatic weight from fleet power. That would very much be nice. And I can afford it. But I can also just barely afford some of these other things. I want to check on these. Increases the upkeep of technicians by a little bit, but it also increases their output by quite a bit. I could live with that. Uh, map the stars would last until canceled. I don't need it that badly. Let's go with this. We'll have this on... And then the next thing after that will go with capacity subsidies, just so I can increase the amount of credits I'm bringing in. And that should be good. From there on, we're good, I think. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, other than that, um, yeah, everything else is good. Don't see any other problems. Cool. That's done. They're completed. Should probably have them return after they're done with the upgrades. Fantastic. Alright. Alright. Cool beans. I haven't had to do a damn thing. Oops, I hit the mic a little bit. I haven't had to do a damn thing with this war against the Commonwealth of Man. Haven't had to do a damn thing. Construction complete. Oh, they managed to take back what the uh, fleet dealt with. Look at that. Doing a good job. All right. Now that we've done the Bithine little area there, let's move on. 
to building a starbase there. Ah! Jian Zhang now has the expertise in psionics trade. Cool. Sutherian entity entered a non-aggression pact with Commonwealth of Man. You, you, are you telling me the colony of humans and the hive mind are now going to be allies? Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Camelot now has an opening. Good. Hmm. Do I want something special here? I guess it wouldn't hurt. Hmm. Food processing. Nah. Um, clone that. Hmm. limit of one. Makes sense. Uh, brr. Nah. Nah, don't need anything too special yet. Especially since I don't have enough people on Camelot yet. Is there... Hmm. No, there doesn't seem to be anything I can do to boost the speed. It's not yet. Okay, well. I don't know what I want to do <laughs> on Camelot. Ah, man. Since it does seem to be more agriculturally, you know focused because it has more districts for that I might as well throw on a food processing facility just to get that going a little further keep me up that way okay keep my stores of food up that way is probably a good idea no worries Young science Alliance division will reports a new breakthrough we'll fix this for sure Okay, the self-aware colony ships is now done. Good. Oh, look at that. We get the Curator Exploration Lab and the Arcology Lab. Probably would have been better to have these earlier, but... Hey, at least now we get them. And we got enough for a tradition. Booyah. Enforcers reduce crime by an additional 20%. That would be beautiful. Um, but let's go with the ruler, ruler level cap for now. The Privy Council. The best and the brightest compete for a chance to whisper advice into the auditory receiver of our illustrious leader. To better guide that ship of state. Sounds good to me. I'm okay with that. Construction complete. All right. Good. Then you go... Whoop, whoa. Well, how about that? Following a period of growing support from the Xeno Right Center, the Polysimus Syndicate has finally embraced the faction. As a result of bringing this faction into their government, they have now become more outly xenophilic. So now they like me. How about that? Huh? How about that? And... I Oh, don't do that. Don't do it through there. Don't do it through there. No, bad. Bad, no. Do that. Then go here. And then go there. Jesus. Do not go through there. Do not go through the Stellar Devourer area. That's bad. No. Okay, what? Now they close the border to us again? 
Okay. Whatever you say, Plisma Syndicate. Kind of losing it, but whatever. I fail to see what their issue is. Should I open my borders to them? Will that stop them from being weird? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I want to make sure I get all of these marked off first around them. Then I'll open it up again. Maybe. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh, really? The plasma thrusters are done. Nice. Okay, well. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I kind of want to go with an orbital habitat just because... I don't have to go into a perk to make them anymore. And having at least one would be kind of cool. Uh, allows the construction of largely self-sustaining orbital habitats. An orbital habitat is a theoretically self-sustaining space station designed for permanent habitation. I kind of want one. I kind of want one. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. I kind of want one. Anyway. Now that we got ourselves set on that path... We, uh... Oh, yeah, I haven't... I haven't taken Yutan yet. I absolutely should. I absolutely should. Work on getting that. And then we'll get all of those resources for us. <laughs> it was about time. Anyway. Right now, we end the episode. Because it, we're way over time. So... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and doing our best to spread the influence of our empire. And also, you know, try and keep the galactic community stable. Um, no real cool stuff has happened as of yet. Because the war with... The Spuxalak and the Commonwealth of Man, I would rather not be a part of. So they can deal with that themselves. But we are slowly but surely starting to slowly control our territory. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll see what we do. But uh, it'll take a while, for sure, for you.